Hello everybody, I am Tom and you watch me play Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. So, today, I have a couple of things I want to do. I am tempted to actually go and complete this dungeon, but at the same time I'm not sure I care enough. Like, the, the, res the reward from here could be really good, but, like, I don't know, could also be pointless. Um, I do want to check out down here though, because this is the only place I haven't actually checked out in the start area. I ran left immediately, and I never actually went down and explored the right, so... I'm down for doing that. Uh, so it's... Yeah, this way, I guess. Oh, there's another one of those big fire giants. There's like a whole bunch of shit down here, in fact. Doesn't look like I can get down there easily, though. Like, there's no... Hmm. It's like this area, I guess. But I don't see any way to get down immediately. It does seem remarkably peaceful here. Compared to the other direction, there's also a church down here, so it looks like there was a reason for me to come down here. Kind of want to make sure I didn't miss anything on the way, you know what I mean? There is a fire dog. I'll be honest, I feel a little bad about killing that man. He was kind of... They're kind of just sitting there, I mean. Their dog was aggressive, but, like, they haven't done anything to me. Oh. Hmm. But their dog did attack me, therefore... They're all as guilty as each other. There is something down to the right here, though. Like a little camp. Well, hello. Is it just him? No, it's not just him. Really doesn't do much damage, does it? Black Steel Great Hammer. Wonder if that was a guaranteed drop. It does sound cool, though. Here it is. It inherently scales with faith. Hmm. Weapon of the Black Knights, Servants of Mesmer the Impaler, Great Hammer of Black Steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Blessed with an Erd Tree incantation, further holy imbuement will amplify the effects and greatly increase the armament's power. Interesting. Guard counter causes a burst of power. Skill, endure. Assume an anchored stance to brace for incoming attacks, briefly boosting poise. Damage taken while using this skill is reduced. These guys seem to not care about anything they're doing, by the way, but... Sakuta tree. Two Sakuta tree fragments. Interesting. Well, that's good. I actually don't remember how many I need now, but... Hmm. Interesting. So they use the Scream ability, which is... it buffs them. Blessing of Marika. Hmm. Uh, inventory... Completely restores HP and heals all ailments. 
A special physic blessed by Marika, the Queen of Erdtree. Completely restores HP and heals all ailments. Marika once created several of these physics for Mesmer's sake, but never again. There's a bunch of guys here. One, two, three, four at least. Others don't seem to care. They seem almost dead, like they just don't attack you until I attack them, which is interesting, to say the least. It's like they almost don't have sentience anymore, or they've completely given up. They get aggressive when I attack them, but beforehand, they don't seem to give two fucks. Fire coil. Uses FP to conjure a tiny fire snake. Hmm. A device of fire used by Mesmer soldiers, lingering embers bundled into a coil. Uses FP to conjure tiny fire snakes from the spot that it is thrown. The writhing snakes pursue foes. Fire was a symbol of the crusade and even Mesmer's rank and file soldiers would wield it. That kind of line of text about Mesmer's soldiers using fire, I've seen a couple of times now. It's on a lot of the fire items. Excuse me, a lot of the fire items around here. I mean, definitely not. Hmm. I feel like I kind of explored all of this place. It's interesting these soldiers down here seem to largely- like the dogs are aggressive still and they were still ignited in flame, but... It seems like the other people don't care as much. Oh, a lava tier. That's a good thing to give people right at the start, I guess. I guess I could use a lava tier, by the way, because I do have 31 intelligence that I'm currently not really using at all. So, it could be worth a respec just for that sake. <clears throat> this will be another ashen thing. Yep, revered spirit ash. Oh, and a painting. Interesting. Backhand blade. Interesting. That guy just buffed something serious. Just went up twice, which was silly if I wanted to actually do comparison here, but whatever. Uh, 901 and 49.6. Pretty good. It gave me like, what, just shy at like 75 attack power? I'm wondering, it must be percentage based, I think, looking at all these numbers. I think it's giving me percentage increases based on my... off my base. Uh, a couple of things I need to do here, actually, I've just remembered as well. Um, I can probably search for them in new stuff. If we go back a bit, I got a summon that I never read. This one. Summon Demi-Human Sportsman Yosh. 
Onzi, a master of sport, a master swordsman who devoted himself to the Star Line Sword, realized that only ruin awaited at the end of the procession of stars, and imprisoned himself in order to forestall it. However, Yosh, an apprentice who absorbed his technique, stubbornly refused to heed his master's words and spent his entire life at his side in defiance of the self-imposed seclusion. Interesting. So it's not actually the boss you get as the summoner, it's the, his apprentice, but, you know, works the same. And then we also got... This, which is interesting. Reminiscent of the painting title, The Sacred Tower. This painter is said to have captured the landscape scene between the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. I potentially know where that is. We'll see. Um, we will see. But we also got this. Curved blade wielded by, with a backhand grip. Backhand blade. That's a new weapon type. Is also a dex weapon. A type of weapon wielded by horn scent for generations. The style of combat associated with this weapon is marked by spinning slashes and gouging thrust strikes. Skill, a blind spot. Leap into close quarters and take advantage of the enemy's blind spot and gore them from the side. Inputs determine which side you strike from. This attack slips below the opponent's guard. Interesting. I wish I kind of had the decks for it, but I don't currently, so we're not going to look into that. But, finding this place, though, we can go, like, up here. Because that kind of looks like... It's corrupted, but that kind of looks like what we're looking for, right? Although it seems like... They're seeing it from above, so like up there maybe? I have no idea how one would get up there. It's really not immediately obvious how one would get up there though. I wonder if there's a teleport at some point? Can I just run over there actually? Did I just miss a path when I came up here? I can see like shiny things over there. See what I'm saying? Anyone else see what I'm putting down? This looks eriently feasible. I'm just going to ignore the dogs. Also bats. I'm also going to ignore the bats. Keep running. Just keep running. There is a gorgeous view up here, but clearly not where I'm supposed to be. We can just run past all these bats though, they don't seem particularly scary. Oh, Grace! Fuck off, bat. Thank you. Um. Oh, where am I now? So I, I did make it up. Okay. I guess we have more to explore. What the fuck are you? It's actually hard to tell how big that thing is. I am actually most interested in seeing if I can get higher immediately, although it doesn't look like I can. I don't know what you are, but I don't like you. I had the wrong flask out. This guy indeed gave me good shit.
The pop boys do give you shit. They give you secutatory fragments, okay. So pop boys are worth killing. First level what four. The fuck are you? You an NPC? You're a follower of the god of rot. Origin brewed cookbook. Oh. Now that is intriguing. So these are the guys that are in Kaled, right? They're essentially... They're essentially followers of Mikola. Um, although Mikola is a... Seemingly a god who doesn't wish to be a god. There's a gold sheep over there. Rare spawn. And or just... Rare animal in general. Because, essentially, Mikola is the the Empyrean that is, like, inhabited by the God of Rot, or the God of Decay, depending on how you want to look at it. But these guys here are part of the, the Scavenger Brood, huh? Interesting. No danger ahead. Where would the hidden path be? Outer God Heirloom. That intrigues me. Raises Arcane, okay. Easy effect. A talisman engraved with the lore of an outer god. Raises Arcane. I can't tell which outer god. The clan who lost everything in the Great Fires peered upon the corpse of their ancestor, normally an act of sanctity, and saw in its shadow a twisted deity. The clan had suffered such torment that the horrible thing was taken it uh, was taken as an object of worship. I'm trying to figure out what it is off the picture. So these must be the same people that we found in the castle. Like the member of the old crone was like a member of them or whatever, because she said that um what's his name? Killed them all with fire. And burned them alive, essentially. And she wanted revenge for that or whatever. But... Blood Fiend's arm. Oh, these are the Blood Fiends. Interesting. Arcane scaling. Weapon used by the Blood Fiends. An arm pulled from the corpse of one of their kind, one of their kin, and wielded as a makeshift weapon. Having been sanctified by a blood ritual, this armament is capable of spraying blood stored within when executing a strong attack, and it gets endure. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I think that was all of them, so I think we're safe to just loot now. Oh, there's lots of gold ram up here. Their only gold ram. And a mega ram. Huge fucking ram. Interesting. Makes sense as lightning. These are lightning ram after all. I'm pretty sure that's what the golden ram were. And another painting. Looking up onto the bridge. Can I see that from anywhere? Incursion painting. I think I know where that might be? I mean, it's also possible these are just not 
anywhere close to where I'm thinking they are, but... Hmm. Rats are interesting. I don't necessarily feel the need to kill them, though. Again, wildlife... Well, it does attack me. Do I care? Hello, dude. I saw you, but we're running past. Church of Benediction. Blessed Blue Jew Talisman. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. I didn't think you'd come that fast. I found a cave. Um, is that the cave I first came out of? Maybe. Did I lose the boss? I think I lost the boss. Arter and the full Oathkeeper set. Well, that seems worth. It's the safe place that I can come and look at things. All right, inventory. So, a bunch of things we found, notably. Uh, we checked that already, we checked that already. We got Forager's Brood Cookbook. Fireproof pickled liver. A record of crafting techniques left by a non-human forager brood, shared out of kindness towards Moore and his kin. Acquire the knowledge to craft the fu So maybe we go talk to Moore about that. Interesting. Um, working with the wandering artist, reminiscent of a painting titled Incursion. The painter is said to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those welcomed into Death's Embrace. The soul of the painter and vestige of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted. Cool. Uh, we have Blessed Jew Dew, Blue Dew Talisman. That's exactly what I expected it to do, because it looks exactly like the health regen one, except it's FP. Uh, Talisman depicting the blessed boon that is a droplet of blue luminescent sap of the herb tree gradually restores FP. It was once thought that the blessed sap of the herb tree would drip from its boughs forever, but the age of plenty swiftly came to a close, and with time the herb tree became more of an object of faith. Interesting. Then we got Great Potentate's cookbook. A record of crafting techniques of the greater potentate who roamed lands near and far. Haunted by the grotesque practice of his village of birth, he suffered great... He suffered... Oh, he stuffed great pots with all manner of things. Acquire the knowledge of craft the following hefty lightning pot. And we have Oath Keeper... Oath Seeker Night Greaves. These knights set off on quests of discovery, hoping to find by themselves an oath of their own choosing to serve in perfect lifelong devotion. And then a parter, which is a fist weapon, yeah. A weapon comprised of a linear, double-sided blade attached to a substantial guard wielded by the Oath Seeker Knights. This versatile armament can be swung about like a fist or used in a manner of a straight sword. Impaling thrust, skill lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields, building power, then lunging forward for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's gut. Okay. Interesting. Lots of interesting things here. Um, since we found that forager, I kind of want to come up here and talk to more. Hey, buddy. Welcome. I like for you things. Okay, nothing new. I definitely haven't thoroughly checked out this area though, so let's try this, shall we? I can spawn a dude here, so why not? Just let my Mimic kill everything. Aha, good item. Fire Knight's Cookbook. A record of crafting techniques let by the Fire Knights, who served Mesmer the Impaler, details the art of wielding fire for the benefit of soldiers setting out to join the Crusade. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following Fire Coil. We also got Atlas Bloom? No, that's just, that's an old thing. Atlas Bloom is... Old material, that's why I have 61 of them. It's 
20 runes. Don't often have that little. Uh, so, we can explore further up this way. Which maybe I want to do, to be honest. Maybe I want to do some more side exploration first. I already went up this way. I explored all of this shit, I think. I guess I didn't explore down here. Let's do that first. Mm, blood fiends fighting with... Mesmer soldiers. Or... Yep, they're all enemies. Cool, I guess. I don't really find the need to fight you, if I'm being perfectly frank. Hmm. Surprisingly big area over here. Poison Swamp. Oh, this leads me the back way around here, I guess. Oh. Hello? This is a... Uh... What is this? Oh, hit the rocks, right? I read this. Or hit the rocks nearby. Should you chance upon a sealed seal at spring, search for a stack stones nearby. By toppling them, you may break the seal. Well, that sounds fantastic. I just need to find where the, the stack of stones is. Like, what is the game's definition of close or nearby? Oh, there. Somewhere a spirit spring has been unsealed. Cool. We like it. Don't necessarily want to take said spirit spring yet, but good to know that I can. I want to finish my exploration around this side of the world first. I mean, I don't believe you. Elder's Hovel. Talisman of the Dread. Raiders potency of magma, specifically. Talisman depicting the dread dragon of the jagged peak, whose roars cause the peak's molten fury to burn and churn. Raises potency of magma. Bale was the foul dragon's name, a terrible harbinger of destruction whose challenge to the ancient dragon lord ended in grievous mutual injury. Interesting. We also got this. Toxic Mossling. A large moss animal glutted with poison. Material used for crafting. Found in poison swamps. Round and plump like a darling infant. Yuck. And then we had festive grease. Solidified knot grease made from a mixture of bone shards. Coats armament imparting a festive incantation that grants the wielder a, scent, a scant few runes on landing attacks. The effect lasts only for a short time. The delightful festival is an old tradition, one old enough for the Erd Tree to tacitly tolerate its endurance. Interesting. Obeil, Tylant Drake, do your wounds yet ache? Is your fury still yet to crest its zenith? Hurry, hurry, and lay it all to waste. Lay waste to the proud, the conceited each. Every one, last one of that arrogant lot. Interesting. I guess this is... Is this where Bale the dragon fought with... Who is the Lord of the Dragons? Plodusiax, right? Hmm. So we had like a magma dragon, and then a lightning dragon, and then we're fighting. I mean, I'm gonna take the Spirit Spring, I guess, because it's here and why the fuck not, but...
That is a big fucking spirit spring. There was more ways I could go that way, but it's not... Like, I could go this way, but it looks like it just leads to a wall anyway. You know what I mean? That just looks like a wall. Although this also feels like I'm just bypassing the castle, which could break quests. It is worth noting that has happened in the base game. I mean, worth. Right? I can no longer summon my dude here, which is annoying, but... Omen killer there? Looks like maybe. Did I just, like, cheese the fuck out of this? Also, I also have no fucking clue where I am. I just want to point out. He looks like an omen killer. He is an omen killer. Interesting. Blessed Bone Shard. I feel like I cheesed my way into a fortress here. Which, cool, sounds good to me. Another grace over there. Hmm. Interesting. I will admit I am very lost. I'm in an area that doesn't have a map, which makes it very hard. Common soldier shit. Okay. I don't even know where the map would be for this area. I guess up here, maybe. Another Blessed Bone Shard. Alright, time for some inventory reading. Blessed Bone Shard. Shard of a bone with a golden shine. Material used for crafting items, exceedingly rare to find. A bone fragment touched by the gold of the Sakuda tree. Broken from the remains of the warriors who perished in the realm of shadow. A blessing such as this... It's said to be the greatest honor that can be granted to the dead. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if you guys would have heard that, but I heard stomping, which is what gave me pause just then. Um, Gauntlet of rank and file soldier of Mesmer's army, a pitch dark soot clings to it, much like the inner face of the man who wore them. Another omen killer. There's fucking omen killers everywhere. Hmm. 
I mean, I have this, right? Is there a reason for me not to jump down? I guess I'm already up here, therefore I can explore. It's a night there. Crucible Knight. Black Knight edited. He is indeed a Crucible Knight. Damn. Aggressive with the twin, twin blade. Actual boss, seemingly. Or at least mini boss. He's not like in a boss arena, so. I'm not really even blocking him, so I don't really need to pull out my shield, but it feels better to have my shield than not for some reason. There we go. Whew. Actually difficult? Wasn't really even a boss. Asher 4, Aspect of the Crucible Wings. That's fucking cool. Uh, an ash Aspect of the Crucible on a weapon. I assume it's just his attack, right? An armament, the sacred affinity, and the following skill. Active aspect of the crucible, wings. This skill originates from the life forms of the crucible. Grow a golden pair of wings and take to the air before diving down to the foe. Weapon first. A spinning attack is performed when wielding a twin blade. Usable on swords as well as pole arms capable of thrusting. Colossal weapons excluded. Is my weapon a colossal weapon? It's a great sword. I don't know if it's colossal. It also gave 80,000 runes, which is annoying because it's a good number of runes, but it's not enough runes that I care. Um, because I can't level up with it. I guess I can level up a weapon with it, technically. wonder if... Colossal Sword, okay. So it does actually specify. Is this thing I got down here Colossal? No, it's just a Great Hammer. Interesting. I am tempted to level this thing up. And try it, but... Chest. Seemingly safe chest. Battlefield's Priest Cookbook. Expands crafting recipes. A record of crafting techniques left by the devout battlefield priests. Their keepers of the faith fought bitterly to spread their gospel to the realm of shadow, where there was no erd tree to gaze upon. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following festive priests. Okay, cool. 
need so many more runes before I upgrade this thing more. Well, it's plus 15 now, right? So we can potentially swap to it and see how it feels. Flame Drake Talisman plus three. Boost fire damage negation by the utmost. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic, all manners of protections. Dagger, smithing stone, common soldier. Armor. Smithing stone six. Well, we're getting some smithing stones back that I spent on this hammer, so that's something. Spirit gravestone. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. We have like two ways to go now. Go this way first, let's see what's up here. Is this just the front? Seemingly, yes. Blessed bone shards again. Broken rune. Throwing dagger. Ghost glove wart. Go back up the gallows, I suppose. Grab you. Hit the wrong button. Blessed blown shard. Okay, so I think I've pretty much explored this entire place. I went backwards through it because of that torrent jump. Oh. Try luring out boss ahead, huh? Let's see. Aris of Occultation. Interesting. Place on the eye of another to deny light in all its forms. Place on the eye of another to deny the light of all its forms can also be used to receive the blessing of an equipped great rune at the cost of all runes currently held. In the realm of shadow, this artifice has employed by the priests of the Erd Tree to intensify the fears of the flock to magnificent effect.
Marika's Rune. Huh? Golden rem remnants of the grace personally bestowed by Queen Marika to the heroes who joined the crusade for her. Used to gain 80,000 runes. The brilliance of Queen Marika's grace blinds even the very best. Is that like a usable... Yeah, okay, damn, Jesus. The Shadow Rune Fog is 15,000. Damn. It's cool there, you can kind of see her like crucified in the middle of the rune. 80,000, huh? Well. This was eventful. Go grab this grace. We'll see where this place is named. Morth Highway South. That very much sounds like a dragon or something. Sound like a dragon to anybody else? Indeed a dragon. Spouting death flame. A white flame. Could go for a dragon, I guess, but at the same time, I could ignore it and ride past and try and get to here. I get more map, which I think is what's going to happen, to be honest. Okay. Oh, interesting. I have found this map. There's also a map here, but I don't know if I can get down to it. It might be worth a try, to be honest. I'm kind of aimlessly wandering at this point. There is another foothold of Marika though, so we're gonna go to that first. I feel like I've just bypassed a major area, by the way. That's what it feels like I've done. But this feels like a good stopping point for this episode, because I have been going for a while. Hey buddy. You have a knack for timing, my fellow. I found the site of a new cross. Take this. Oh, nice. Mikola has said as much himself. He wishes now to throw it all away. He hmm. says the act, though undoubtedly painful, will sear clean the Earth Three's wanton sin. The truth of his claim can be found at each cross, which is evidence enough to earn my belief. Go to the misshapen tree of Umbra. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. The blood of your fellows, the Earth Three faithful. Hmm. Go to the misshapen in that forsaken. Interesting. Monk's missive. May, be, may the best win. Okay. Is this letter again? It looks like letter again. Let me just grab these things. Carved words coalesce. I abandoned here my heart. Hello again. Did you meet my compatriots? I did. They're quite the congregation, from places as far and wide as you can imagine. Doubtless it have all come to blows at first glance. Were it not for the charm kindly Mikula put upon us, this is what allows us to serve together. The work of a living god. Ask about the horn scent. Wondering about the horn scent, are you? True enough? 
In any other circumstance, he'd be at our throats. Long ago, Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the Tower Folk. A cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the Hornsen holds the Earth Tree in contempt. That aside, man is by nature a creature of conquest. And in this regard, the Tower Folk are no different. They were never saints. They just happen to be on the losing side of a war, but it's still a wretched shame. Wondering about the whole true enough? Long ago, a cleansing, but no wonder the that aside, and in this regard, they were never saint, they just happened to be, but it's still a interesting. We are all utterly captivated by kindly Mikula. It is what binds us together. We are all it is what binds Interesting. There is also interesting that there is a fog gate here. Is this the boss fight? Did I just like skip the whole area? I think I did. I think coming down here first and then jumping up has like skipped an area for me also. That is probably where the map is for this area. Interesting. I wonder if I can just go in and fight the boss immediately? I guess, probably. But we're going to do that next time. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, where I guess we're going to go into that fog gate and see what's what. Although I have a 30,000 runes, maybe before I do that, let's level this, uh, this hammer boy up, shall we? And I could take it to 25. But I only have one Ancient Dragonsmithing Stone, so I think we leave it at 24. Um, even still, if I compare this, let me actually, I want to put another Ash of War onto my Greatsword. So I'm pretty sure. If we go to my Greatsword. We can put Aspo to the Crucible Wings on it, which is such a cool effect. So this is 258, 258 with 45, 189. We check my equipment now. You lose a little bit of damage. Get more scaling. Hmm. We gain more physical damage because of scaling. But we lose net holy damage. Let's go back to my greatsword because I want to try out the new cool attack. But we'll keep that hammer in mind for later because I might actually use it later. We'll see. Um, cool. Let's head back to the back side of the fortress. That's going to be it though. <laughs> As I said, if you like the video, like, subscribe, all that kind of jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.